now that I got your guys' attention, my name's Pat McGreal. I'm 19 years old, I go to St. Bonaventure University, and I've been a massive fan of this show since I was in fourth grade. Um, I was adopted at birth by my two wonderful parents. Um, they've taught me about peace and love and acceptance and everything needed to get through the world, um, and I love them dearly for that. I've tried to get in contact with my birth mother a few times, um, but that's been to no avail on uh, uh, her end. So, uh, you know, wah wah, but uh, it is what it is, you know? Pictured as my lovely boyfriend, Spencer. Um, he's taught me a lot about growing as a person as well um, and being peaceful and loving and accepting, so I thank him dearly for that, truly. Currently an accounting major at St. Bonaventure University, rising junior. Um, and, you know, I, I'm typically a straight A student. Uh, I work as the teaching assistant for my accounting professor. And uh, let's see what she has to say for a recommendation for the show. Dr. Sam? Getting back to the star of the show. Um, I, <laughs> I love to volunteer at Bonner Response. It's an organization. It's a really good community run at my college. Uh, we go every weekend. We're building wheelchair ramps. During our school breaks, we go and help hurricane disaster relief, um, which is a lot of fun. Um, it's just a great community. Here, you could very clearly tell it's me and no one else cutting down a coconut tree, um, which are great survival skills for the show. All right. Well, um, you know, growing up as an autistic guy was tough, especially without a diagnosis, because you're kind of just different, but, like, you don't know why you're different. Like, you just know you are, and other people know you are, but, like, there's no way really to explain it. It was, it was really difficult growing up um, for me socially because of that mental block. And even still to this day, even after I've been diagnosed, I still struggle with that. Like, a fuck ton. Sorry, I shouldn't cuss. But uh, it's like, that's just, it's just who I am. I'm going to struggle with that. And I know I'm going to struggle with that. And I'm going to bring that into the game, too. I'm going to be like, oh, I don't deserve to be here, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I do. And that's what I struggle with. And it's, it's like, I don't know. I think... That's why I embrace, like, hippie culture and the, the dead. I love the dead, dude. And so I, I embrace that because it's like, I can just be me and it doesn't matter because everyone there is too stoned to really care that I'm me. They're, they're all just hanging out there vibing, you know what I mean? But it's like, that's just, that's just kind of how I have to be. I think I have to go into this really embracing that part of me and really accepting that part of me. Um, but it's not easy having this struggle it's especially amplified because of, of my autism um you know I, I i wouldn't change who i am at all i would i would like to keep who i am actually you know it's like i i love my obsession with survivor i love my obsession with the grateful dead um you know like i've been obsessed with the show since i was nine and that's because of my autism you know um i don't think i would care as deeply about this show or wanting to get on that show if i wasn't autistic so I don't know. I kind of just, I kind of want to talk to you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I want to talk to you guys behind the camera watching me right now so I can just tell you myself rather than having to make this video. So pick me and then I could tell you more of what I mean.